Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video, so grab yourself a cold drink and let's get this on. So in order to share a drive in the NVIDIA Shield, you have to go to the Storage and Reset section, and then scroll down to where it says Over Local Network. This is where you're going to enable the ability for other machines to see your shield. Now it's going to give you a username, a password, and it's going to tell you the IP address. Now that username is definable by you, but the password is generated by the shield itself. So you can change this username if you want to. Um, and then that IP address is important. You want to write down all of this information or take a picture of it because you're going to use it in Windows later. So go to File Explorer, and on the left-hand side of File Explorer, you'll see this PC. This is where you want to go in order to map a drive. Now you can add a network location, but I like map a drive better. So click on that, and then you'll see a path that you can put in in order to connect to your shield. So you have to do your two slashes, your IP address, then another slash, and then whatever folder uh, you want to do connect to. And then you just say reconnect next time and then you put in the password that you either wrote down or took a picture of in here and then say that it needs to remember these credentials. Once you do that you will be mapped to that drive. And I picked internal because that's all the folders. You could have just picked downloads or a folder that you created just special for dragging and dropping files across. But as you can see, I can pass files back and forth between my computer and the shield now uh, through my PC. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Okay, here we go. Final thoughts time. So adding a network shared drive is easy as long as you allow it in the shield. This makes moving files back and forth very easy. It also makes getting APK files off the web easy, since you can download them on your PC and just send them to your Shield's shared drive. It really makes moving content a snap. Please subscribe if you want to catch tutorial videos and much more. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here. Thanks for watching again.